Hey, hon. <laughs> yeah, just getting back from Dan's house. Got the rest of the stuff out of there. And, uh, yeah, my brothers and sister and I, we, uh, yeah. Finished cleaning it out. Everything's done. Now, this is a box that I uh, found in there. I'll kind of distribute it a little bit, a little bit for each person to take. And uh, I took this. Well, you want to see what's in it? Okay. Yeah, all, all of this has some... Uh, not one of those people that were on the high end of things, you know. Hey, a thrift store jacket is just fine for him. Hand-me-down shoes or something that was given away that was still in good condition, though. Don't get me wrong, he had his standards. But, uh, the other thing we always joked him about was he loved Cheap perfume. <laughs> Menin skin bracer. One of his favorites. You know, I remember giving him this. This says, uh, the world's greatest lover. <laughs> he sure thought he was something, huh? He was like a Mac. <laughs> yeah, girls, the girls that love me. <laughs> yeah, the world's greatest lover. I don't know, you know, the stuff. Oh, oh, let me put the box down there. Open this thing up. <sighs> Oof. Smell that. <laughs> yeah, he really did wear that. Oof. Yeah, I, I will remember as a, as a kid, we'd be. shaving stuff and he'd have all this array of different aftershaves and cologne and stuff. Yeah, even the uh, little brush that he used for the uh, shaving cream was the coolest, coolest thing. I mean, to see dad operate inside the bathroom. <laughs> little kid just looking up and staring and see him lather up. Yeah. <laughs> mm, those little things. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me show you this. <laughs> yeah, this is that Yardley. I think this is from like the UK or something, right? Yardley Original Clone for Men. Um, this is pro uh, Yardley, New York, but. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and it's actually a product that would, came over from the UK. And uh, they probably just built a plant over here and marketed it here, but originally it's from the UK. Mmm. Yeah, I remember that smell. Smell that. <laughs> yeah, people use that one too. Yeah, I don't think people would be caught dead wearing this stuff right now. I don't know, it still has a good little smell to it. Or at least, it's got good memories. You know, isn't that something that memories oftentimes are associated with other things such as smell and, you know, uh, even, even music and sound. You know, they bring back, they can invoke memories of different things, you know. You have that, that calm, soothing rain and all that. Uh, 
sometimes you can be brought back to a place because of how soothing things are, you know? Yeah. So, let me show you, uh, show you this other one. Oh. <laughs> Got a story to tell you about this one. Now this is a rare, very rare cologne. La Toya Agua de Colonia 1492. Really pop. I think someone told me that it was inspired by La Toya Jackson. But I don't know. I don't know if that's correct or not. But nevertheless, this was a very costly cologne at the time. And I want you to look at it. Barely used. Out of the fragrances that we've smelled so far, by far the best. However, what did I tell you? <laughs> That's right, he loved cheap cologne. Don't buy him nothing expensive. He said, no, don't give me nothing expensive. And we would buy him one, and he'd set it right there. And he'd use it once or twice just for our sake. But nope, he'd go back to his old faithfuls. And speaking about old faithful, watch this one. <laughs> Bold. Bold. <laughs> now this one, look at that. That bottle's almost empty. Uh-huh. Compare that one to that one. Yeah. It's telling you a whole lot. And uh, he will get this bold. And you could not tell him nothing. Look, that smells like outdoors. Look, smell that. Yeah, that's what he loved about it. That outdoorsy smell with a little bit of like bergamot or something. Yeah. He was a simple man. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah, simple taste, but uh, he knew what he liked and he liked what he liked and don't try to convince him otherwise. That's right, don't buy them. <laughs> yeah, those uh, expensive, crazy colognes. Or aftershave or anything like that. He's not going to wear it. Now, 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 I've got to show you, show you this. This was uh, something that we had. We gave to him and... All right, what you see now? What you see? Old Spice, Old Spice. But this is Old Spice shower soap on a rope. Now, listen, I think I was about eight years old and we went out and I bought this for dad. I said, he's gonna love it. And he gave me the biggest smile and the biggest laugh when he received it and all of that. And he thanked me and gave me a big old hug. And I just thought I gave him the greatest gift ever. And fast forward. <laughs> he never even opened it. You know why? <laughs> well, at the time, at the time, we didn't know anything. The stigma about soap on the rope. We just thought it was soap on the rope. Look at that. Still preserved from the 70s. Wow, look at that. Beautiful soap on a rope. But, hmm, <laughs> even has a little good fragrance still. Although it's not much. Hmm. <laughs> but it's fun because he said, I'll never use that soap on a rope. That's what he told Ma. <laughs> She said, he told, he said, don't say nothing. Just pack it away. He said, I won't be using, you won't catch me with no soap on the rope. I don't know. I didn't know what it meant back then, but uh, kind of get a gist of what he was talking about. Kind of funny, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we already looked at uh, the big one. He had uh, one of these skin bracer aftershaves by Menon. But this was a little, little one, little baby one. Yeah. Ooh. That 
I must have had a lot of pressure just waiting to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Brings back memories. <laughs> This one in my pocket. Good hand, pocket size. Reminder. Every now and then I can just. Get a little reminder. Of you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Not going to do it. Not going to do it, you know, because, uh, <laughs> one more, one more. I want to show you. Leather. You remember that? There it is. That's the one. That's the one. This is Yardley of London Leather Aftershave. I knew that, that Yardley said, see, okay, 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 okay. This is the Yardley. That is uh, the American one. And here's the Yardley of London. Too. I remember my brother giving him this and he said he smelled and he said thank you but his face said no thanks <laughs> I remember and my brother was puzzled and I, I, I came in and I jumped in and I said he loves it and he put a big old smile on his face. <laughs> and fast forward, is here in the box. Uh -huh, I didn't think he liked it. Yeah, this shows he didn't like it. So, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, well, babe. All of these different ones. Got lots of sentimental value to me. I'll we'll just go ahead and um, package them. Put them away, okay? Alright. Um, Alright, I'll see you later, alright? <laughs> Love you too. Alright. Yeah, now I'm just gonna just gonna store them. Real good, I might smell them. I'll be back in a little bit. Watch a movie.